Did I turn the gas off before I left? No. <laughs> What's up gamers, today I'm playing a super unique game on the MetaQuest 3. It's called Demeter and it is this really awesome action platformer puzzle solving game that takes place in your living room. By the way, this isn't my living room. I'm coming to you from my office after hours, so please watch to the end. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, Demeter, here we go. I love this, like this is just here in my space. <laughs> So oh, cool. I like the font that they chose for this game too. So see, you can already see, this is what's so interesting about this game, is we have these dioramas just here floating around in the room, and you're going to be playing the platformer across these dioramas with your character. And look at some of this art design. I mean, this is so amazing. These crystal trees, and just like the way that, that the branches come up across there. This waterfall. <laughs> It's just gorgeous. Let's see what it's all about. All right, we got the map over here. Continue. Whoa. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what? My hands. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so she's having some trouble here. She's about to crash land. Oh yeah, see there you go. Chapter 1, so you found yourself in control of a person while you sit there peacefully in your living room. Whoa! Look at this! This is crazy! Look how little she is. Okay, okay, gotcha. Hello? Yeah, it was me. I can hear you, I can hear you. Atalanta. Okay, so I can control her with the left stick. And A for jump. Sound effects change when she's in the water. She can interact with the waterfall. It's like B is punch. So pretty standard stuff there. I think I'm supposed to look at this little dog. Like this dog like creature here. What is that? <laughs> it looks so cool. This is so awesome. Ooh, shiny orb. Whoa. Okay. Alright, gotta punch these these dark plant things so you can see like you're gonna have to walk around the diorama to see it from different angles and that is just so cool like it actually gets you up and moving a little bit like i sometimes i get it you just want to sit on the couch and chill i don't know there's something unique about this like it's not exercise but you're not just sitting there lethargic either i really like this if there's one thing gaming has taught me is don't touch the thorny bushes <laughs> they will hurt you so we got little checkpoints here on these blocks okay so this is interesting we've already got our first branching path just on the second thing here we've got two spaces we can go to I feel like i can jump across here and climb up this ladder or climb up this ladder here and i kind of want to kind of want to go the way that it probably doesn't want me to go just to see what else there is to see oh man this is, these are you can see the little sparkles coming off of them it's so cool look how tall this one is it's like seven feet tall <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, you're really too cute. Uh. I'll call you Thor. <laughs> I agree. These things are really cute. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no. I killed her. I could go that way or I could go this way. I wonder why are you actually helping me, pilot? Because it's the right thing to do. Look at that. I love this. Look how it attached to the door. Just on the wall here. Ah, oh, this is so cool. All right, so we gotta figure out how to get her ship started back up. You can climb on this plant over here. Now where are we going? Now it's in my TV. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Cross here, be careful. Okay, I'm gonna go back the way I came so that I can get back to my ship rather than going that new path. Almost hit the thorny plant. Don't wanna do that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, here we go. Whoa. This is just delightful. Absolutely delightful. I love it. Look at how her design, like the hair coming off of her head, like flowing back like it's some kind of like comet or kind of has like a Medusa vibe to it. I really like this. I hope we won't be staying here too long. She's got this a new episode of Hysteria's Restless is on tonight. Oh, she got jokes now. Okay. All right. I like this tail coming off of her too. I just think the character model is really good design. It's even got, she's got like, tr like trees for legs or something. It's just very unique. 
I like her ship. I like the text on the ship, I like this script, I like these hieroglyphic type things going on. And I'm just now noticing that there are this there's a there's a marking here on the level and markings on these teleport points to let you know which island you're going to. That's kind of cool. You got to kind of look, pay attention to that and remember that so you know how to get around. Let's see where we're going now. Look at the little sparkles coming off the ball. I love this. So one cool thing you can do is you can hit the Y button and you can pull up this box and you can move the levels around. So if I wanted to move this say out here where I didn't have to bend over so much, uh, I could do that. Or you can grab with both controller triggers and rotate the levels around. And that's kind of cool too. Whoa, watch out. Hmm, this looks like what would happen if I hit it? Maybe there's something inside of it. What? Whoa! Okay, we got a story scene going on here. This looks so cool. Do you see how it like dimmed out the room around it so that this would be the center of attention? I love this golden color they got going on here. It's amazing. Equilibrium. You all right, pilot? You seemed frozen. That was weird. I'm fine. Thanks for worrying about me, though. Look at this guy up here. Look at the flowers coming, growing around his feet as he walks. I'm in love. I'm in love with this. This is so cool. It's like bringing life wherever he steps. Well, everything else looks a little bit dead. It's kind of like fall or something, like it's going dormant. But this creature's bringing life to it. I love that. I don't know if I want to go up there and mess with him right now, though. So she's teaching me how to fight now. Watch the shadow, though, on the steps as she comes over the edge. Did you see that? I love that. I love that attention to detail. And even how like the shadow gets bigger as she gets closer to the ground. It's so good. Oh gosh, that one doesn't look too friendly. Okay, took those guys out. Here we go. Pilot? Back over there? here. Yeah, I'm still here. I love how the water cascades over her head when she's in the water. We got some more vines here we gotta take care of. On Demeter, recording now. Okay, this guy sounds insane. You will have nothing. Jeez. I think we just met our villain. I really hope we won't run into him. <laughs> I'm sure we will. I love the light trail coming off these orbs. It looks so cool. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? We've got another one on the ground. Some more plants. Some disappearing platforms. The plot thickens. Phase into the wall. You can teleport through the wall. Go get this crystal. Come back up this way. I like how you can see her through the levels. If she's behind something, so you can kind of tell where she is. Even like the particles floating around in the air, these little rainbow particle things look so cool and really just add to the atmosphere of your room. And then <clears throat> I like how they're conveying the story through different means. It's not just audio logs. It's not just um, movie clips or cutscenes. but there's a variety of stuff here. You're learning some stuff from the protagonist, Atlantia, and or Atalanta, whatever her name was, and um, then some from audio logs and then some from those animated cutscenes. It kind of just mixes it up. Looks like we gotta find some buttons here to push to do certain things. Turn those lasers off. Crystal tree, pilot. It's magnificent. I did see that crystal tree. Okay, now we got some doors. There's a locked door. Got another shard. What about you, pilot? Will I ever know who you are and where you come from? Sure. I mean, have you tried asking? So I'll talk to you. You know, just. Ask me a question. Uh, you can't interact with her in this game, so unlock the door, come over here, come up here, take another platform to a new locale. <laughs> okay, move this one just a little bit like that. Hit Y again. So I like when you fight these guys, you turn them back to the good side. We're not just killing them, we're turning them back to good. Back to, uh, back to the good old... Oh no! Why did you do that, pilot? I didn't know. I just wanted to pet the thing. Come on. Oh, they're so cute. You said so yourself. Oh, zap, man. Did not know that was gonna happen. Got a door back here. Oh, there's a shard. Here we go, here we go. Whoa. Music change, music change. You know what that means. Boss battle. This has gotta be the big one. This has gotta be the big level, right? Or at least a mini boss or something. This is an arena. Got this big arena, all the stuff flowing around the outside. Look at like the water on the ground, <laughs> the waterfalls. Oh, I got a shard back here I gotta pick up. Hey, we have a Wonder Woman Easter egg. 
Ah, uh, this is so cool. Let's get this shard and oh no. I think she's telling me to hit that thing in the middle. Yep. Here we go. Whoa. That's something Echo can't do. <laughs> New powers. Okay. Wow. What? what impressive prismalite. prismalite? That's a flashlight. I have a cosmic flashlight. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. You gotta use the flashlight to make stuff appear. Oh, and then it disappears. All right, so I got to keep the light on it. This is the kind of interactive stuff that I feel like video games have kind of lost in recent years. There's more to gaming than just doing the same old thing over and over again. Give me something creative. Give me something fresh and new. Uh-oh. Yikes. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get to the top of this thing. Did she just say the crystal seems unstable? Of course it is. It was totally blown up until you hit that button over there. What about that would make you think that it's gonna be stable? Hey, here's another crystal shard. I think I have to go to this beam of light over here. So one of the things I like about this mixed reality stuff versus virtual reality is that moving around my own environment like this I haven't gotten nauseous or sick a single time. And sometimes in VR, when your brain thinks you're moving, but you're actually not, it's kind of hard. It tricks your belly into thinking that something's wrong. Whoa, 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 oh goodness. So if you're curious about VR, but you're just not quite sure, just know, hey, mixed reality is different because you really are moving around your space and it just feels more natural. There's one of these platforms. I got to light it up, light it up. Oh, and here's something else. My cosmic flashlight. What you call it? Prisma light. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Ooh, almost got hit there. So you can see you got a mixture of like dodging stuff, platforming, puzzle solving. There's story elements. Here's another one of those story elements right here. You punch this guy. I think you get another cutscene. Oh yeah, I've got to attach it to my controller. Whoa! I could never have the gold aesthetic the that is so cool. Really the color palette, actually, of the whole so game. I, mean, I love it. Never have... And the darkness I accumulated in the depths. Two aspects of the natural cycle, <laughs> whose hubs were the... Gra Be careful. I'm over here. Whoa! I like that you can just kind of walk through the level, too, even though it's a little bit trippy at first. Okay. I think she needs to go in here. Am I controlling this now? What? What? I've got her. It's a cosmic sparkler. Woo! Can I write my name? Yes, I can. <laughs> BKG. BKG! Hey, what's up, Cosmic Sparkler? I like this. <laughs> Put you right there. There we go. Okay, chapter two. When you're missing information, you may as well go to straight to the source, literally. I don't want to go too far into the story because I don't want to spoil anything, but I do want to talk about a couple more things. One thing that, that I saw in the menu that I forgot to do just now is that you can hit X and yes, open a portal and you can stick your head through the portal and look at the level in first person like she sees it and that is so cool i love this it could also help you really figure out some puzzles if you're having trouble and you need to see it from a different perspective i think that's really going to come in handy one of the other things is just the audio design in this it does get quieter when you're away but it gets closer when you get closer and do you hear that <laughs> the Waterfall on the left and the waterfall on the right sound different, and I'm hearing them in my left and right ear differently. So just that little attention to detail, I just really, really like that. It's so awesome. Something else I forgot to mention earlier is that I have a discount. Oh, come on. I'm trying to talk here. Just singing, not even paying any attention at all. 
All right, so like I was trying to say, I have a discount link below in the description. It's gonna get you 25% off of Demeter. I think it's $20 without the code, but 15 with it, that's five whole dollar savings. Plus it's gonna help me out too, so I really appreciate you helping us both out by clicking on that. But this is Demeter. What do you think? I think it's pretty awesome and I can't wait to play more. So thanks for starting this journey with me. Yeah. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Are you still there, watcher? If you are, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me, and it encourages me to keep going and making more content. Until next time, stay kind and encouraging out there, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip. All right, this is getting long. Heck, did I turn the gas off before I left? No.